In this video, I am going to solve the last problem from chapter 11, rolling torque and angular momentum. Clear? Okay, let's we start. Question number 49, page number 282 from Principles of Physics, 10th edition book. Clear? Okay, read the question. Two discs are mounted which is like a merry-go-round on low friction bearing on a same axle. So that means you have two discs which is mounted on the same axle. So in one axle, you have two discs, clear, and it is having low friction bearing. So that means it is uh, rotating very smoothly, am I right? And can be brought together so that they couple and rotate as one unit. So initially two discs are separated. And when it starts rotating, what happens? Both discs come and join together and it is rotating as one unit, which is mentioned in the question. Clear? So what they mentioned, initially you have two discs and these two discs are rotating in a one axle, in the same axle. So when it starts rotating, after some time what happened, these two discs join together and it is start rotating as one unit. And the first disc has the of inertia of 3.30 kilogram meter square so what is that value because moment of inertia we studied the for the, the 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 letter we use for moment of inertia is exactly i correct so that means the moment of inertia for the first disc which is mentioned here as 3.30 kilogram meter square about its central axis which is spinning in the counterclockwise direction so what we studied in the theory, if, if, if the disc is rotating in the counterclockwise direction, it has the positive angular speed, am I right? So here they mentioned the first disc has the moment of inertia value of 3.30 and it is rotating about the central axis, but it is spinning in the counterclockwise direction. So if it is counter, if it is spinning in the counterclockwise direction, its angular speed will have the positive value. So what is the angular speed? That means the Omega, omega is the angular speed. So angular speed for the first disc. Actually, I'm talking about here, about the first disc. Clear? So first disc, moment of inertia is 3.30. And the first disc initial, so initial of the first disc, which is mentioned here, I is initial, one is the first disc, okay? So it value is 450 revolution per minute what should be the sign here it's positive why it is positive because it is rotating in the counterclockwise direction if it is rotating the counterclockwise direction the angular speed is con uh, considered as positive clear and the second disc second disc which has the moment of inertia. What's the moment of moment of inertia for the second disc? The moment of inertia for the second disc, they mentioned as 6.60 kilogram meter square. And it is also rotating on the central axis because, because what they mentioned in the first part, both discs are rotating in the same axle. But after some time, what happened? It's joined together and then it start rotating. But here in the second uh, disc, moment of inertia, they mentioned as 6.60. And it is rotating again in this counterclockwise direction. So what is the value of this angular speed? The angular speed of the second disc in the initial state, which is again positive value, which has the value of 900 revolution per minute. Clear? What should be the angular speed after coupling? So after these two, because initially both are rotating separately in the same axis. And after sometimes what happened, it's joined together, it's together, it's coupled together. So once it's joined together, what should be the final angular speed? Because we have the initial angular speed of the first disc, we have the initial angular speed of the second disc, but after sometimes it's joined together, so better we can write the law of conservation of angular momentum. What is law of conservation of angular momentum? The law of conservation of angular momentum says initial angular momentum must be equal to final angular momentum. This is the rule, right? And what is the angular momentum rule? The angular momentum rule for the extended object is high omega. 
this equation we already studied in chapter number 10 right so i'm going to write the initial state what is initial initially both disk are separated which is rotating with some speed so what i'm going to do in the initial condition what i'm going to do i'm going to write i1 first disk moment of inertia multiplied by first disk initial angular speed plus the second disk moment of inertia and the second disk initial speed which is equal to final finally what happened these two discs are joined together and it will be rotating with some speed that means these two are joined together means its moment of inertia are coupled that means i1 plus i2 multiply by omega final because these two join together as one am i right so now what we are going to find in the first part with the first part we are going to find what should be the final speed so it's very easy i'm going to rearrange this equation by that i'm going to find the value of this final speed so therefore i'm going to keep this omega final here i'm going to bring this i1 plus i2 to the left hand side of the denominator by that your equation will become omega final which is equal to i1 omega 1i plus i2 omega 2i over this will come am i right i1 plus i2 now we have all the values am i right which is already mentioned in the first part so we already wrote the given here so i1 has the value of 3.30 i2 6.60 and omega uh, first uh, that means the initial speed of the first disc is 450 and the initial speed of the second disc is 900 i'm going to substitute all the values here so if you substitute what will happen you will get the answer for the final speed right so i'm going to substitute one by one i1 value they mention as 3.3 right multiply by what is the angular speed value the angular speed of the first disc is 450 right 450 plus the i2 value is 6.60 6.60 and the second sp disc speed is 900 revolution per minute divided by i1 plus i2 what is our i1 this is i1 this is i2 am i right so 3.30 plus 6.60 correct so now i'm going to multiply and divide so by that we will get the answer for the final angular speed so angular speed which is equal to i'm going to multiply one by one so 3.3 multiplied by 450 we got the answer as one four eight five plus six point six multiplied by nine hundred i got five nine four zero five nine four zero divided by three point three plus six point six i got the answer as nine point nine right now omega final which is equal to 1485 plus 5940 i got the answer as 7425 7425 divided by 9.9 .9. so i got the answer as the final omega speed omega final answer is 750 a revolution per minute here i did not consider converted this revolution to radian i did not consider the second in terms of so minutes in terms of second because i just leave they just ask because they did not mention anything there so i am going to leave this answer in terms of uh, revolution per minute so this is the answer for the first question clear actually in this question you have two subdivisions understand okay in the second part you have to read the question very carefully what is given in the second part all the conditions are same but in the second part what they mention oh, okay sorry second part instead of the second disc is set clockwise previously what they mentioned the second disc 
is in the counterclockwise direction. That's what we got the positive value of 900. Am I right? But what they mentioned, mentioned the second part, if instead, that means instead of this counterclockwise direction, suppose if the second disk is rotating in the clockwise direction, what should be the value? What should be the value of the angular speed? So what will happen? So when the disk will be rotating in the clockwise direction, we should consider this 900 as negative 900. Clear? All the procedures are exactly the same. The only thing what I am going to do, I am going to substitute the value of 900 as minus 900. Why? Because in the first part, two disks are rotating in the counterclockwise direction. But in the second part, they said only the second disk, they mentioned the second disk instead of counterclockwise direction. Suppose if they rotate in the clockwise direction, what should be the angular speed? So I am going to use the same rule. But only thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the value of the second disk as minus 900. Why? Because it is moving, it is rotating in the clockwise direction. So better I am going to write the same value here. I'm going to use the same equation because the same equation will come. So I can start from here. So second part, I'm going to use this equation. So omega final, which is equal to I1 omega 1i plus I2 omega 2i over I1 plus I2. So what I'm going to do here, what is our omega 2? Our omega 2i is minus 900. Previously it is plus 900, right? Why it is minus 900? Because it is rotating in the clockwise direction. So revolution per minute. So now I'm going to substitute the value. I1 3.3. Multiply by 450, right? Plus 6.6 .6 multiply by minus 900, right? Over 3.3 .3 plus 6.6. .6. Now I have to calculate one more time. And this part, again, you'll get the same. What's the value? 1485 you'll get because positive but when you multiply what you'll get this one is 5940 minus because anything multiply because positive multiply by negative is negative over 9.9 .9. clear now i have to find the value after i subtract 1485 minus 59 Four zero, I got the value of minus four four five five over nine point nine. So divided by nine point nine, I got minus four fifty. What's the answer? I got the angular speed as minus four fifty revolution per minute. Is the answer for the second part so in the first part they mentioned a two disc are rotating in the counterclockwise direction so by that we got the angular speed the final angular speed after they joined together we got the angular speed as 750 revolution per minute but in the second part they said first disc is rotating in the counterclockwise direction but the second disc they mentioned instead of counterclockwise they changed to clockwise that's the reason we put minus 900 clear clear and we have one more question which is theoretical question what they mentioned what should be the direction of rotation after they couple together? So you have to consider this third question only for the second part. So for, from here, you have to read. Suppose if the third disk, if the second disk is rotating clockwise direction, so by that you'll have minus 900, am I right? So what answer we got here? In the second part, we got the answer as minus 450, right? Minus 450 revolution per minute so minus we got so which direction it is rotating my dear you have to see the sign that means the angular speed is in the clockwise direction why it is clockwise direction because here we got the negative answer so what's the answer for this so answer for the third part so the answer for the third part i can write higher. i'm going to write it here the answer for the third part in the second part, we got the angular speed as minus 450 
revolution per minute so here the minus indicates after they couple together which direction it is moving it is rotating in the clockwise direction clear clear it is rotating the clockwise direction why it is rotating the clockwise direction because we are we got the answer as negative 450 that means which direction exactly it is rotating because initially two discs are separated and after they couple both are rotating am i right but here you can give the another answer also that means this clockwise rotation says this clockwise rotation says it is rotating it is rotating in the direction of in the direction of second disc right why second disc what's the reason what's the reason we put the it is rotating the direction of the second disc because the first disc rotation is 450 right am i right or not but the second disc rotation is minus 900 which one is greater because if you just don't don't include this negative so this one has 450 this one has 900 this negative is rotating the clockwise direction that means after it coupled together the, the both will rotating in the same direction of the second disc clear because we got the answer is negative that means negative it's because of this minus 900 clear so that's the reason i put here it is rotating in the direction of the second disc initial angular speed second disc initial angular speed or velocity i think they mentioned velocity so i can write because it has the direction i'm right so i have to mention velocity so this is the answer for the third part clear so please read the question so in the first part they mention two disc or rotating in the same axis the first disc is, has the rotation or value of 450 revolution per minute uh, in the counterclockwise direction. So it has positive. And the second disc also is rotating separately, which has 900. This is also rotating in the counterclockwise direction. So after it coupled together, after it joined together, what should be the angular speed? That is mentioned in the first question. In the second question, what they mentioned, first disc, it is rotating in the counterclockwise direction. But the second disc, is it is rotating in the clockwise direction that's the reason we have to mention this 900 as minus 900 clear and after you substitute the value in the equation you will get the answer as negative so what this negative exactly says so after it coupled together its direction it is nothing but it is in the direction of the clockwise direction that means it is rotating in the direction of the second disc initial angular speed because the second disc is rotating with 900 revolution per minute it is greater than the initial disc that's the reason it is rotating in the direction of the second disc initial angular velocity correct so please read the question and please write the law of conservation of uh, angular momentum properly so if this equation is wrong then the rest of the calculation will be wrong so please write the equation because i'm just writing the equation based on the information which is given in the question so once the equation will be right once the substitution in this equation will be right everything will be right clear clear that's it